how to manage shape tool presets in Affinity Photo. Here's the shape, and then all the shapes can be found via the tools. There's rectangle, star, and many, many more. Now, each of those shapes have got presets, their own individual presets. Some have got lots of presets, some have got one or two. Now, how to access the presets? Well, there's a little gear at the top. You can just see there, gear. Just click on that and you'll see all the presets. Now only two. That's it. Very sad. You can, that's it. They're both applied and you can modify the settings. Once you've changed the settings, what you can do, you can create your own preset. Now I'm just going to go to another tool. And I'm going to change something, change some settings, and I could save it. But also what I can do is just click on those presets and it will change the current shape. It's a great way to access vast numbers of shapes. You can change the settings so you can tweak it to your heart's content. Once you're happy with that, go to the gear button and presets. And then go to the right side menu and create a preset for it. Right side menu, create preset. Now give it a name. Something exciting like star. And also select a category. Now, you might just have none unless you've created a category. Now I've got more shapes. Click create. Don't click cancel because that will not save it. Now you can use it then for future use. Save it and use it again and again and again. So you can see your more shapes there. Also, you'll see a little marker against it at the side. You've got A on the ones from Affinity. You've also got a little greyed out design for the ones you create, user defined ones. So again, change some settings. Go to the presets. Go to create preset. And I'm going to go for none this time. I'm going to go for the category none. That's the top level category. Give it a name, double star, or whatever. Now, you can see it's in the none category. You think at this point, you can drag it over into your more shapes. Well, you can't. You can only do that in the manage preset section. And you can access that via the right side menu as well. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So there's another design. And just drag that around and go to that little gear. And again, right side menu, great presets, great preset. And just give it a name, category, and again, create. And there it is. So they've got three. That's really useful. Three designs. For the pie, you've got whole you've got quite a few more presets. And again, you can just select a shape a preset and it will change the current shape. And again, once you've actually applied that, you can then just change the settings. Now I'm going to show you the Manage feature, Manage Presets. Select that. There's no shape, so you can't create preset. There's the Preset Manager. There's a number of features, not too many, but they're quite useful. And you've got the More Shapes. That's one of the categories I created. And you've got the None above. And they're mainly filled with 
all the ones created via Affinity themselves. What you can also do, you can filter out one. So say you just want the polygon tool. There's just the polygons. Star, and there's the star one. Now, you can drag things around, and you can just, you see there, now, I should have dragged it. You can see it just highlights just as it goes across. Now, I'm certain it just drops in there at that point. However, I've just shown you now, it just doesn't work that way, just dragging it across. However, when you go to no filter, and you go and select one of the designs, and I'm just going to show you, just go up to one of the designs up there, and just select it. like that, and just drag across. Now it will drag into that space. So personally, probably just best to use the no filter option, and you can just drag them around. And you can go and select another shape, just click and just drag, and you can see you've just got a little plus there as it drags. The preset is then placed in the new position by releasing the mouse. And there it is, been added to the more shapes. And you can do the same with all the other shapes. Now you can use the affinity ones. You can also use your user preset ones as well. You can just put them into different categories. And again, what you can do, you've got the filter. You can select, say, triangle or polygon, and that will show just for that tool, as I've mentioned. What you can also do, you can export these presets and you can import them. So, but it's user presets, not any of the others. So it's just the ones you've created. So give it a name, and I'm just going to go for something like exciting one. Something useful. And then replace, if you've got a file already, which I have, the tool presets file. And what you can do then, you can import them back in again. Now, I'm just obviously showing this for that you can do it. Most of the time you wouldn't particularly do that. There's no new presets found because, of course, I've just exported and I've imported. So what you can do, you can go over to a preset and I'm just going to select one and I right click. And I can delete, delete preset. With it deleted, what I can do now, import presets again. Select the file. And there it is. It's been restored. You've got your basic design back again. Now, I'm not going to click that, but that just restores the presets, the master presets. Don't particularly need to do that, so I'm not going to do that now. But it's a great way of restoring everything back again. You can also create a category. More Shapes 2 or More Shapes 3 or whatever you want to call it. More Shapes 1. And there's the category. What you can do, just go to one of those other shapes and just drag that in. So you can see that I should have done that earlier in that example previously. Just basically when you go over the thing, it highlights and then that just drop it at that point. Just drag that down to select another shape. And again, you can select the standard shapes as well as your own. And you can drag them back again. That's come back to the none. Again, if you go back to the no filter, diamond, you can see the various shapes. So I go down to that. And again, you can see more shapes. Polygon. Star. Double star. And so on and so on. Click close. And then just go and select your shapes and presets and apply them again. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo. 
And also, please add some comments. And also, dislike and likes. Thank you much.